Hi everyone, hope you all are doing well. My name is Nirbhay Kumar Kushwaha and I am a student at IIM Rohtak of IPM 04 batch. I am going to conduct a VA session on the topic pronoun. So let's get on with it. First, I will show you some question. Pause the video. Try to find an answer. If you are not able to answer, don't worry, we will learn about every concept. So let's start with the basic definition of pronoun. What is a pronoun? A pronoun is a word that is used in the place of noun. Let us understand it with help of an example. Radhika is a beautiful girl. Radhika lives with her father. Radhika loves Rahul. In this sentence, we can see that there is an redundancy of Radhika in every sentence and it creates a weak error, awkwardness in the sentence. In order to remove this error, we use pronoun. So it becomes Radhika is a beautiful girl. She lives with her father and she loves Rahul. Let's move on to the other part. Let's see the kind of pronouns. There are many different kinds of pronoun, but first we will see personal pronoun. There are three kinds of pronouns that is first person, second person and third person. The first person is the speaker. Second person is the person who is standing before us and the third person is of whom we speak, who is currently uh, not present at the moment. Under first person, we use I. Under second person, we use pronoun you. And under third person, we use he, she, it, they. This is the most important table of English language. It is not only useful for pronoun, but also for all grammatical concepts. We know that there is a singular as well as plural form of each person. Therefore, the plural form of first person I is V. The plural form of second person U is you. The plural form of he, she, it is they. Similarly, of other pronouns. In this table, we can see the subjective case, objective case, possessive pronoun, possessive adjective of each pronoun. And you can see that you is the only pronoun whose subjective and objective cases are same. So let us understand the difference between the subjective case and objective case because it is important from the point of view of competitive examination. So uses of subjective case. Whenever there is a form of be used in a sentence, after that we always use subjective case pronoun. Form of be are is, am, are, was, were, be, being. But be careful that here be used is the main verb, not helping verb. So we can understand difference between main verb and helping verb with an example like I am a student. Here am is the main verb. Now consider another sentence. I am writing. In this sentence, am is the helping verb and writing is the main verb. So be careful that be in subjective case is always main verb. Let's see some of the example. It was me who had brought you home. In this sentence, was is the form of be and is the main verb. So after was, subjective case will be used. Therefore, we replace me with I. So the sentence will be, it was I who had brought you home. In the second example, you can see that it was them who were running fast. Here, was is the form of be and is the main verb. And them is an objective case. So we need to replace it with its subjective case that is they. So the sentence will be, it was they who were running fast. Now come to the objective case. Whenever there is a verb in a sentence, it is followed by objective case pronoun. Let us understand this with help of examples. She told I a story. In this sentence, told is a verb and it will be followed by the objective case pronoun. So we replace I with me and the sentence becomes she told me a story. In the second sentence, we can see that she scolded you and I. Uh, here scolded is the verb followed by you. So we need to replace it with its objective form that is me. So the sentence will become she scolded you and me. Also, whenever there is a preposition in the sentence, it is followed by objective case pronoun. Let's see the example. She divided the money between you and I. Here between is the preposition and it should be followed by its objective case pronoun. Therefore, I will be replaced by me and the sentence becomes she divided the money between you and me. 
in the second example she mocked at he and i here at is the preposition and it should be followed by objective case therefore he and i will be replaced by him and me so the sentence becomes she mocked at him and me let us answer the question of the first slide it was he not me who put forth the remarkable proposition so here was is the form of be so me will be replaced by its subjective case that is i so the sentence will become it was he not i who put forth the remarkable proposition in the second sentence we want the teacher to be him who has the best rapport with the students in this sentence him will be replaced by its subjective case that is he so the sentence will become we want the teacher to be he who has the best rapport with the students the third sentence although he was the most friendly of all present and different from the others he had hardly any friends except me this sentence is correct because except is a preposition and after preposition objective case is used try to answer this questions there is one conjunction as well as preposition which often confuses the student that is but when we use but as an conjunction it is used to join two sentences like in hindi we can say it means lekin but when we use but as a preposition it means except so in this questions c is well off but c her is greedy here but is used as an conjunction therefore we will use the subjective case that is c so the sentence will be c is well off but c is greedy in second sentence everyone went to the party but c her here but is used as preposition so after it objective case will be used that is her so the sentence will become everyone went to the party but her the third sentence i am poor but i am honest here but is used as an conjunction therefore subjective case will be used so the sentence will be i am poor but i am honest in the fourth sentence nobody knew the answer but me i but here is used as a preposition therefore the objective case that is me will be used let's move to the next topic you can pause the video and try to solve these questions let's understand it the word possessive it shows some possession on something oh ho possessive whenever we use possessive adjective my our yours his her its theirs noun is always used after them but in the case of possessive pronoun mine ours your his her theirs noun is never used after them Let's come to the logic part of possessive adjective. We know that adjective is used to modify noun or pronoun. Therefore, noun or pronoun is always used after the possessive adjective. Possessive pronoun is its possessive adjective plus noun. Noun itself is present in possessive pronoun. Therefore, we do not use noun after it. We can see in the examples, our country is great country. Ours is a possessive pronoun. which means ours is equal to our plus country therefore it is a correct sentence in the second sentence his is a old flat since his is a possessive pronoun it means it contain his flat so it is a correct sentence in the third sentence your car is here but mine car is there in this sentence mine car is incorrect because mine is a possessive pronoun here mine means my car it creates a redundancy in the sentence therefore correct sentence will be your car is here but my car is there or your car is here but mine is there similarly in the fourth sentence this is my house and where is your house so the correct sentence will be this is my house where is your house or this is my house where is yours with this we come to end of our first va session of pronoun hope you understood all the concept please like and subscribe the channel